bum, bum, bum. Good times <laughs> never been so good. So good. So good. So good. Hi, everyone, and welcome back to another video. How's everybody doing today? I hope everyone is doing well and the weather is nice where you are. I think down east is still getting slammed with snow. But, oh my goodness, it is like spring here. It's amazing. Loving it, yes. Yesterday went up to plus eight. Not sure about today, but today was pretty warm too. Yeah. So, I am sitting in my craft room. I don't know if you guys have actually seen my craft room. Because I'm always up in the kitchen because I'm always watching the animals. But Sean is home. And um, he got home last night. And he can watch the animals while I do this. So I went out yesterday and I got my other leg brace and oh my goodness, what a difference. I can walk, yes. So they are quite stiff. They're like a metal that goes into my shoe and then right up to almost my knees. So I'm wearing both of them. And uh, yeah, could I ever walk yesterday? I'm really pleased with them. So I went to Dollarama. Now, this is a huge Dollarama. I went to three stores in Brandon. So the only one I didn't go into was um, the one in the mall. I didn't go into that one. I had a wish list and I found everything but one item. Yes. And then after Brandon, Sean wanted me to meet him in in. Uh, Portage La Prairie. So I drove there and I went to their Dollarama as well. <laughs> so it's actually four bags, but I may split it up. We'll do a part A and a part B. So this I think was the first store I went into and I filled this, you know, those big bags, I filled it. All right. So let's see. I do have my receipt here, but prices don't really matter, do they? Not if you guys are all out shopping at Dollarama as well, uh, because yeah, if this goes with it or not. I did buy some new items. Just looking, um, I grabbed some bagels and they were three twenty-five. So I think that's a good price for the Country Harvest everything bagels. Sean likes those ones, and I like these ones in the morning. Cinnamon raisin. So that wasn't too bad, $3.25 each. That's why I want to go through this bag so I can put that away. I did get some new items that I don't think I've seen anybody haul yet. This being one of them. So these were uh, in the kitchen aisle and they are trivets, but are they ever pretty? Just look at how beautiful those are. I just thought they were really pretty. They have a nice rubber mat on them. And we use uh, trivets a lot because I do like to just bring the hot uh, meal and to the table and kind of help ourselves. So these are gonna come in really handy. 275. This one's got pink in it. They had different colors. There was a beautiful blue one. If you're into blue, it was nice. So I did get those. Uh, this is going to be all probably jumbled up, whatever. This is new. Uh, I was going to order, uh, you know, like a baking mat. Uh, so when I need my bread and stuff. Sorry if you've got rings. My ring light is on. Um, yeah, so I wanted a mat so that I'm not using my countertop. But I came across this. These are disposable counter covers by Wilton. And there's 10 in it. Grab a sheet, stick it to your counter, toss it out for easy cleanup. So I'm going to use these until I decide what mat I want to buy. I was going to say I didn't bring scissors, but I'm in my craft room at my desk. So I have scissors. Yeah, let's open it up and see what these are like. I know uh, anything Wilton is good quality items. You can buy Wilton at uh, the bulk barn as well. All right, so there's 10 in it. Let's see what they're like. Oh, they feel almost like a, a wax paper. That's all they really are. Yeah, they're thin. They're just like wax paper. Oh, and they have little grips on the corners. That's pretty cool. 
I, I guess you peel and stick that on and then it's not going to fly all over while you're you doing whatever with your bread. For any baking, they're showing uh, muffins on it too. So let's get that. That was a good buy. Did I say how much they were? Let's see. Probably on this trivet. We did those. Counter covers. Oh, $275. That's a really good deal. Yeah, so I'll use those in the meantime until I buy my silicone mat that I want. Yeah, I'm going to look on Timu for it. And the next item, this uh, I've seen some people haul these. And it is a uh, beautiful little gift <laughs> to give to someone. Uh, reusable makeup remover towel set includes three round microfiber pads, two large washcloths, and one laundry storage. So I thought, well, that's nice. They look a little smaller than the ones that I do use. And I'm always, you know, I'll use it and then morning and night and then uh, toss it to the laundry. Oh, lovely. Came in this little bag. Very nice. So there's three of those. Oh, they're so, so soft. Three of those. And then let's see what size these. Oh, these are big. Nice. Very soft. I'm impressed with that. Very nice. All right. Sitting at my desk here. I've got a million things on it. And I'm going to add more. <laughs> now, I was looking for, um, what do you call it? You know those plastic, they look like shower caps, but they're they're in the kitchen area. And they're to cover your bowls and stuff with. Well, they didn't have any at any of the stores. So they may be discontinued. I don't know. So Caroline bought shower caps. So I got four shower caps. Oh, sorry. Eight shower caps. Even better. For $1.28. So I am going to use these to cover my bread when it's proofing. So yeah. I guess you get two of each. Mm -hmm. So that's going to go in the kitchen. What else? Do I have anything else in here for the kitchen? Mm, oh, I bought uh, these uh, Belgium tradition chocolate hearts. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give these to Sean for Valentine's Day, but I'll be the one eating them. <laughs> and I believe that the Belgium chocolates were $4. Yes, so $4. That'll be nice, Belgium chocolate. That's going to go upstairs. They put the price up on these. I bought Kit Kat. They're $2.25 now. And I believe you get 10 in it still. Oh, nine. Nine. They left one out. There's room for it right there. Left one out and added another 25 cents. We got to watch that. Dollarama. Oh, another thing that I bought for uh, myself, uh, lavender plus shea butter. And it is a smoothing heel cream and, a, and an exfoliating foot cream scrub. So I actually use um, my, a I'm an Avon rep. So I always buy my foot stuff from Avon, have for years. But I'm going to give this a try because I do like lavender. And this was five dollars, so you know, two fifty for each. Another nice gift to put away. I mean, we're at the end of January, so eleven more months, and we're and it's Christmas, right? So I bought this. I love it. It's beautiful. It's a complete makeup application set with ten brushes, and uh, two of the uh, blending sponges. Look at that. So I am putting this away. I want to do a giveaway. I didn't do a giveaway when I did reach um, a thousand subscribers and I'm over 1300 now. So I am going to do a giveaway soon. And so stay tuned for that. You need to be subscribed. And uh, when I get that together, I'll show you what's going to be in it. So this is one of the items. I'm going to just throw that over here. 
on the floor. The other thing I bought at this store, I saw these, they're so cute. They're zero to 12 months. I thought I bought, I thought I bought zero to three months. That's fine. I got uh, 10 pairs of little socks for $4.50. I actually bought them for my doll. <laughs> They're for Roisin. Yeah, so she's getting those. I told Sean, I'm making a vision board. So I got this to make my vision board. He didn't know what a vision board was, so I had to explain to him that um, it's going to be, so I bought this cork, there's two in it. It's going to be things that um, I want to happen, you know, vision board, envisioning what's gonna happen in the future. So this was 325. These are big. These are, does it even say what size they are? At least 12 by 12s or bigger. No, it doesn't say. So there's two in it and I'm just gonna pin everything that I want to happen this year. My vision board. Did I say how much they were? Hmm, let's have a look. Uh, cork tile, $3.25. Yeah, then I saw this. This is just paper, it's not cardstock, but I thought it was very pretty. Something stuck to it. Um, it's like, you can use this year round, but it is for Valentine's Day. Isn't that beautiful? So yeah, it, it, it even says it's designer paper and it's foil. There's 20 sheets in it and I paid $4.25. Oh, look at that. For all you gnome lovers, there you go. I am not alone. I, 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 I know. I am not a gnome lover. Four twenty-five. Yeah, so that'll be fun to play with when I'm crafting. And I did buy some diamond art there. This one is going to be beautiful because it's already on the canvas. If you remember the bird one that I made, and uh, I basically had only done the bird, and then the rest of it was it didn't need the little uh, drills. So look at this one, isn't that beautiful? Yeah, some red and pink flowers in it. This was $4. And every diamond painting, it doesn't matter whether you buy it, you know, at Dollarama or Timu, every single one comes with everything that you need. So you come with your little tray, comes with your pen, and then that's little wax. So you, you put your pen into the wax, so you got a little sticky bit to stick all the, uh, they call them drills, all the little diamonds on too. So I bought that one, cause I'm pretty much finished. I have one more to do and then I would be out. And I don't know if I can do them after my surgery, which is tomorrow, but we're not gonna talk about that. <laughs> my camera just shut off there. I'm back. So I bought another diamond painting and this one was $4 and it's very hard to read it, but it says every love story is beautiful, but ours is my favorite. So it, it's in black writing and it's all with all that colorful background. So yeah, that's $4 is pretty good. So that's another one that I've got to do. And this bag is empty. I was gonna say what time are we at, but I had to restart my video. Uh, so that is everything that I bought from this store. I might have to break Looks it Looks like somebody lost their toilet seat. <laughs> Hello everyone. I am headed in for surgery in Winnipeg. Sean's driving me. And I laughed because I put a black t-shirt on and my gray hoodie and look what he's wearing. <laughs> we always end up in the same colors. I have a dry throat because I'm not allowed to drink anything. <laughs> That's why I'm talking like this. So the new truck is pretty uh, cool. When you're driving in the city, it uh, goes into electric driving mode. 
and it does run on fuel this pickup but yeah <clears throat> it's a pretty cool feature I think you when you're doing 50 as high as 50 it stays in electric driving I was doing 60 where yeah oh there's a dog in front of us but he just went back in <laughs> oh is that why oh yeah look at them they're sticking their heads out wait there you go. There's that one. And there's that one. <laughs> That's cute. Look at this guy. Just getting some fresh air. Show you guys my new braces. Well, that's my new one. And I think it's a bit bigger than this one. But I'm thankful that they fit in my winter boots. We made it here. So I'm going in with it. my arm looking pretty good. We'll see what it looks like when I come out. See if your voice gets any better. <laughs> I know. I have a dry throat. <laughs> Instead of Kermit the Frog. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't allowed any food or drink. And no makeup, no jewelry. All that's taken off. I'm a little worried. I'll see you when I go out. I just checked in surgery. Hi everyone. So I'm out of surgery. Uh, everything went well and I don't have a cast. Yay! But I do have a sling. So my arm is in a sling. It's totally dead right now. They used a nerve block so that can take up to 24 hours to wear off. And boy, it feels weird having a dead limb. And if you can see in the back seat there, Sean bought a case of regular ginger ale. And that blue one is uh, blackberry ginger ale. For a limited time. Yeah, because I asked for the cranberry, but he found that one. Did they have cranberry? No. Nope. No cranberry left. They didn't have it in the no name. <clears throat> and they didn't have it in the bottle either. Yeah. So Sean's going to stay home probably till Monday, make sure I'm okay. I am left-handed, so this is gonna be fun. <laughs> Cause it's my left arm, yeah. Anyways, just wanted to pop on, let you know everything went well, and I'm going home to rest right now. He's not allowed to leave me for 24 hours. Can you handle it? Oh, and we're going to stop at Shoppers Drug Mart to get uh, more drugs. Some, yeah, more drugs. Some T3s. <laughs> Put me on T3s. I may be numb like this for, yeah, up to 24 hours, but I'll have the T3s in stock. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Um, I'm adding this on to the end of that Dollar Rama haul because I didn't put a closing to it. And I did go and get my surgery today, which we will discuss afterwards in case anybody is squeamish. Squeamish, right? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> but while I was in surgery, Sean went to um, Walmart because he's going to do a haul. What did you buy at Walmart? Oh, I am? Yeah. You bought two cases of water. No, I bought four. Oh, four cases of water. He bought two rotisserie chickens that were... Seven ninety seven. Seven ninety seven. We pay double that for yeah. one in our little yeah. town. A case of blackberry ginger ale. Yes, I said I wanted ginger ale, and he found the blackberry. And a case of regular ginger ale. And you didn't see the uh, I, no, cranberry. There was no cranberry, there. cranberry, so I think it's still highway robbery at two for thirteen dollars. Yeah. So what else did you buy? Oh yes. <laughs> he said I bought something for I you. I stopped to the British section. Yes, the Walmart that he went yeah. to in Winnipeg has a British section. So I got, what's that, McBiddies? Yeah, and those look, oh, Digestive I was looking and I thought food. they were dark chocolate, but it actually just says new look. So this is their new packaging, because it used to be an orange package. Yeah, so. But I think they're still, are they milk chocolate on the top? Yeah, yeah. it because it says new look. Yeah, milk Same chocolate. great taste. I love those. 
So what they are is, um, oh my goodness. What kind of a biscuit are they? Digestive. No, oh, these ones are digestive. They're not hobnobs. Yeah, okay. They're a digestive biscuit with chocolate coated top. They look the same and they taste hobnob. delicious. And what else did you buy me? <laughs> oh, so she's out. she was looking for some curly whirlies. Curly whirlies are the best. And her prices were stupid. Yes. One. I went into the bulk barn and I wasn't paying the price that they wanted for one. And then Sean found, is that a four pack? A five pack. Five pack. For $3.75. So three for me and two for you? Sure. <laughs> that was a good price for the curly whirlies. Yeah. What it is, is, and it's braided. Does it show it braided? Can you open it? Open like just to see if the one's inside. So it's caramel and it's in a braid all the way down and then it's dipped in chocolate. Delicious, very soft. Nope. Yeah, they don't show it. But anyway, that's what size they are and delicious. British anything is delicious. I love the chocolate from over there. And then what else did you buy? Well, I know she likes the, uh, the orange chocolate from England. Mm -hmm. So I found this for her. They are orange biscuits dipped in chocolate. Yeah. And how many is in it? Five or six? Seven. Woo, seven. I'll yep. share those with you. Oh, that's nice of you. <laughs> That'll be so nice with a cup of tea later. Yeah. Red hair. And while I was recording my Dollarama haul down in my room, I totally forgot to bring this down with me. So we're going to open it right now. I got friend mail. Yes. And Rebecca, it's from Rebecca. And she had emailed me and told me that there was friend mail coming. So when you open it, make sure this face is you. <laughs> you don't show the addresses. Honey, hands off. <laughs> Hands up. Oh, I'm drinking. Okay, you open while I show them. This is what the blackberry ginger ale looks like. Yeah. There's a knife. Good thing he's going that way with it. I had enough uh, surgery for the day. So this is looking. So, okay, we're going to, can you empty it out for me? One handed here. Oh my goodness, look at these. Look, it's little jelly babies. Are these cards? How nice, look at that one, that is gorgeous. So uh, they're blank inside for me to write a message and it comes with a green envelope. That one's beautiful and look at this one. Love the colors on that, the trees and the birds. It's been said that hummingbirds carry hope of love, joy, and celebration. Our wish is that our beauty crafted products inspire you to connect in a meaningful way and bring those same hopes to everyone around you for the important people in your life. Nice. Is that one say the same? Same. Beautiful. Wow. Look at this, this one. Same company. This one's like the ocean. And it's got little sparkles on that one's beautiful too. I'm send that one to Troy. These are beautiful. Oh, look at this one. They get better and <laughs> better. Love sparkles. <laughs> this one's nice too, eh? Yeah. It looks like a, a wood grain. It's just cardstock. It's hard to show you. There you go. Isn't that beautiful? That is so beautiful. What else did she put in here? A couple. Oh, <laughs> so there's two cards. This one says to Caroline and Sean, so can you open that, please? Yeah. I am opening this at the perfect time, then. She says, hello. Hello. Show them. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my goodness. All right, we're going to read this. I think she said it was okay, too. So... I'll read, which side do I read first? Hi, Caroline and Sean and family members. Due to the winter weather, which I don't mind the snow, but the cold Arctic air is another thing. I want to thank you both for all you are doing. Even when things have happened these past few years, you have amazed me a lot. 
I hope the upcoming surgery goes well. And there's a card I would like Caroline to open after her surgery. I also found some other cards that I left in their covers. Thank you again for all you folks are doing. I hope Sean is eating lots of spinach so he can deal with all the snow shoveling that he does. <laughs> and then she wrote, sorry, my spelling and grammar is not great. One of many issues I have problems with since I was young. Please take care from Rebecca. And P.S. Sean's face expressions are so funny. Thanks, Sean. <laughs> I watched a lot of Benny Hill when I was a kid. Yeah, so that's a beautiful <laughs> card. Your grammar was perfect. And um, I'm always having trouble with words. Yeah, and uh, my youngest brother used to call me Popeye. Popeye arms because <laughs> my arms were huge from always working out. Mm -hmm. Shoveling and cutting wood. I'm wearing these doors. glasses, but I brought these ones to wear. <laughs> Let's switch glasses. Don't mind me. I'm on. Uh, I'm on some heavy sedation here. To Caroline, don't open up until your surgery is done. My surgery is done, so we can open it. So that was perfect timing that I was able to op open the whole package tonight. This is ginger ale, not beer. Yeah. So can you, you know. open my card, please? Because this is a family friendly, travelable. You know. Yes. No, if it was rum and coke, it'd be different. Sean's going to realize how much work I actually do with all the animals and stuff. Because he was like, you were kind of stressing there, making dinner and... <laughs> well, what, what do you call him? A scared cat? <laughs> There's a funny card. Probably set on the thistle. Let me open it up one-handed here. To Caroline... Here's hoping you bounce back quickly. Not sure when your surgery is, but wanted to send a card to you. Good luck with the recovery from Rebecca. Rebecca, thank you very much. You didn't have to send anything to me, but I really appreciate it. And I will put those cards to use. They're beautiful. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to talk about my surgery. And if anybody is squeamish and doesn't want to see what I'm going to show, then... You should stop watching now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So um, I had excellent care. I had nurses fussing over me from the time I walked in to get my surgery. Very impressed. And um, is it called an anesthesia? Yeah, anesthesia. I had a female. My first time ever in all these years, I got a female. And she was so kind. So... She, I hadn't taken my morning pills. I wasn't sure if I was allowed to or not because I had to stop eating and drinking before midnight last night. So I brought them with me and uh, I had told her, oh, I haven't taken my morning pills. And she looked to see what I take. And she says, oh, those are for pain. And I said, yeah, those are for my nerve pain. She says, you better take them right now. So she made the other nurse go back to my bag, <laughs> my, my clothes and bring them to me. And I took them. So she was explaining to me, I'm just going to read it here. What did I read? Yeah, so most people have a local uh, anesthetic to be, um, what's the word? Sedated. Stone. Yeah, <laughs> she did not want to do that for me because she didn't want to affect my nerves. So what I had was an intravenous sedation where can i get some of and then after and then when that started to work she gave me a nerve blocker now my arm i don't have a cast it's just wrapped up which i'm thankful for but my arm i can't feel it it's it's a look it's a limb that doesn't belong to my body so i'm going to be like this for 24 to 48 hours before i'm going to get it back so i just want to show you this i haven't washed the stuff off iodine. the iodine stuff so it is a little orange i cannot feel this should can i take it out of this wait i'm gonna put it on the table it's it's very freaky it's it's freaking me out so i have never had this before let me stand up look at this it's like i look i cannot feel this 
and and my fingers it's like it's like a doll i'm like my little doll there i have no feeling all the way up here so let's hope and pray that i get the feeling off my arm can you pull my chair back in please yeah so this could last up to 48 hours so we just have to basically wait and see what happens and what did the nurse say to you that you're not allowed to go or no you have to stay well, home How'd you she say it? are not allowed to go anywhere mister until monday <laughs> yeah she told him not allowed to go anywhere yeah. until monday but so I'm going to texas monday i know oh and for those people that were watching and I wasn't trying to grab her, but I was just pulling in her chair. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so I'm still highly uh, doped up here. <laughs> uh, they did give me T3s, so Sean filled that prescription already. And uh, as soon as I start, this wears off and I start feeling pain, every four to six hours I have to take them. So tomorrow will be a rough day for me. Um... I mean, this, I was in there a long time. Four hours. I was there for 9 a.m. And uh, they did the surgery. We, we walked in at 8.30. So, yeah, they saw, I had my two leg braces on and my cane and I'm walking in. And uh, so they put me straight to a bed right away. And then she says, are you able to walk? And I said, well, I just took my braces off, but I can walk. I need to use my cane. But then when the... The lady came in, the anesthesia. Anesthesius. <laughs> Anesthesius. <laughs> yes. She says, no, 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 we're wheeling you in. Our last so, one is a used car salesman. Yeah. So we're, <laughs> she was talking away with me and I had my IV in and um, the nurse put, uh, you know, one vial in and she's talking away and she says to me, do you feel that yet? And I'm like, no. So she says to the nurse, put another one in. And she put the other one in and they were talking between them and Caroline was, Ooh, I was gone. <laughs> but I did see the big, huge needles that they use for the, um, what was it again? Nerve blocker. Nerve blocker. So I think it's the nerve blocker that is causing this. I wasn't even there. Yeah, you weren't even there. So we did, like they sent me, you know, home with some material here. So it, this can stay like this for up to 48 hours. So let's hope Caroline isn't that one patient that mm. has complications. <laughs> oh, yeah, we've gone through that before. We've gone through that before. A few times. Yeah. And they actually said if you live more than two hours away to plan to stay in the area. But we have a hospital 30 minutes away. And worst case scenario, they would put me in an ambulance back to Winnipeg. So... Yeah, I am going to get this video finished. I just have to add this to the Dollarama. I did that already. And um, yeah, I'm doing a part two Dollarama haul. I've already recorded it. I recorded it yesterday. So I'll get that edited whenever. You might see that Friday. And we did, uh, we went to the thrift store on that. So I went to... Value Village, and I got a little story about that. And I went to the thrift store in Portage when I met up with Sean. So yeah, we will both do that together over the weekend. All right, so thanks for watching everyone. And thanks for all your prayers and well wishes for my surgery. It is over, it's, uh, yeah, it's a healing process. I have to stay with this, uh, it's a cheap one, and I do have a better fabric one. My arm has to stay in a sling for four weeks. We have two. Yes, we ones. have two, so I can change them out. For so, that arm, too. Yeah, it is for the left arm. And I wore that when I broke my arm. I had a full arm cast, and I still I had to wear the sling. So, yeah, we're going to switch this out after I wash my hand. And, yeah. But yeah, thank you so much. Everybody was sending well wishes and prayers and I really appreciate it. Um, I always put a smile on my face, even when I'm in pain, but I'm not in pain right now. <laughs> I will be later though. Not when she's being a pain to me. It knows. says no alcohol for the next uh, 72 hours. <laughs>
<laughs> Anyways, I got my ginger ale to drink and yeah. <clears throat> did I buy enough? You did. Right. Yeah. So I hope everyone enjoyed the Dollarama haul. Part two. Take care and we'll catch us on the next one. Bye for now. <laughs> oh yeah, by the way, I'm left-handed. Caroline. Bum, bum, bum. Good times <laughs> never mean so good. So good. So good. So good. So good. So good.